I just wanted to come on and chit chat. I don't have anything particular that I want to talk about. You know, I can address a few things within this uh, video. Mainly, mainly this this Mercury retrograde. That is probably I'll, I'll stay on topic with that because that's what we are all moving under right now. We're all ugh. so. I already had my little stint with it and it brought back somebody, an energy that I thought that I was over maybe. And I am over it. Like after, after reconnecting, I realized, oh hell no. <laughs> you know, because this is something serious when you outgrow somebody and it doesn't make you better than them it doesn't make them worse than you but you have to acknowledge the fact that growth is real and when you outgrow somebody from a spiritual standpoint from a energetic standpoint from a romantic standpoint you know those matters those things matter you know that's a that's that's the glue that keeps the companionship going. And if that, if those three factors have kind of fizzled away and that flame doesn't flicker anymore in those areas, then honey, it's gone. So I gave it one more little test run to see if uh, it was gonna work. I have to say that and mm -mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. But sisters, I will tell you this. Do what you have to do to boost and push your manifestations through. What am I saying in code? The only reason that you should even... And I know... <laughs> this is so bold, but... I'm a bold person. I'm a bull. That's what we do. I, what I'm telling you is somebody, if somebody comes back into your life and y'all had a magnetic sexual chemistry and that's all y'all had was a magnetic sexual chemistry and you're at a phase in your life where you're trying to push through some manifestations, you're trying to push through some desires and wants and needs, even if that want and need is the wanting another relationship or if that wanting and needing is whatever. It, uh, it, there is no limit to manifestations and if there's no particular thing that manifests quicker or better if you do it. No, manifestations are manifestations and once you visualize, visualize it and begin to imagine it, then you need to power it so you can kind of be throttled or slingshotted into that which you desire. So where am I going with this? If you need his wand to help your magic, then do as you will. That is the purpose of utilizing anybody that's coming back into your life that you still have a magnetic sexual attraction to. That means there's power there. There's power there. There's power there. I hope y'all hear me. I hope you hear me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then this conversation ain't even for you. I'm not trying to put you up on it. I don't have time to break it down. I do not. I used to want to teach, teach, teach. But, you know, years have passed. I don't want to teach. Either you already know this and you have a keen understanding and it resonates or you don't. Period. So for the ones that know exactly where I'm going with this, um, power your magic with past magnetic uh, men that you don't necessarily love and you don't necessarily see a future with, but everybody has a, uh, a current purpose and a current role they can play in your life. So... That's all I'm going to say about that, you know. Pew. Boost the magic with magnetic chemistry. So, I'm going to leave that there, you know. Again, if you know what I'm saying, if you know what I mean, then this is for you and there it is. 
Now, I will, let me throw this disclaimer out. If you know that you are still emotionally attached to an individual, if you know that reuniting and reigniting a sexual connection with somebody is going to mentally fuck you, then don't do it. This ain't for you. I ain't talking to you. <laughs> I'm only talking to the ones that have control over their emotions, understand how to disattach and handle business. You see what I'm saying? From a spiritual uh, standpoint. So, you know, I'm not telling anybody to go fall in love with a nigga who done hurt you a thousand times. I ain't saying that. I'm saying get the magic out of the situation if there's magic still there. So, again, only a few understand where I'm, where I'm going with this. Okay. Uh, secondly, honey, honey, honey. <laughs> we as women have to kind of own our, uh, not just sexuality, but individuality, which connects to sexuality, um, uh, because for years, for centuries, probably since the beginning of time when, when the divine was separated and made into male and female, because there was a time when we were all just one thing. It was one divine being, and it was it was one that we were fragmented, you know, pulled and made into two and duality was created. But anyway, not going off into all of that. Google, y'all find that on y'all. Go read some shit. But um, when that happened, uh, of course, that's when, the, that's when the patriarchal side of the world kicked in and women were shamed into being themselves or more so shamed out of being themselves. So I'm I, I, I'm saying this portion of this recording to say this ladies own your shit and give no fucks about how anybody feels about it, period. You are such a walking bad ass magnet that of course people, even your own species of people meaning uh, you know your own other females that are not tapped in tuned in turned on to their individuality and sexuality will also be used as agents against you but i'm saying own who you are own what you are there is no wrong way to do you as long as you're being true to you as long as you're being honest with you as long as you are honoring you you know, I'm all about honoring thyself because at the end of the day, when you look around, there is no one but you. There is no one but you, you know. And when I say that, I mean that in the broadest sense. When you look around, there is no one but you. There is no mom, no dad, no children. Mom, dad are moving forward. You know, they're going on up. They, you know, they don't live or they're living their lives. Your children, you know, if they're grown, you know, they're coming into their own and it's time for them to experience who and what they are. If you have small children, then there's a line that has to be drawn to who you are to them as mommy while still honoring who you are as a divine feminine. So all I'm saying, if you're not taking time out to learn you, all of you, inside and out, if you're not taking time out to figure out who you are in this big old world, then that may be very well one of the things that's causing you to feel blocked. It may very well be one of the things that's causing you to feel like you're in a sunken place. And what you'll end up doing is blaming it on circumstances, experiences, experiences, and other people. Uh, when in our reality, it's you're not comfortable with you because you don't even know who you are. So it is vital, essential, detrimental, <laughs> all of those things for you to carve out some time throughout the day, every day, to locate thyself. Locate thyself. Honor that inner woman that speaks to you because 
even though she may be suffocated, she may be she may be smothered. She's not dead. She's in there. She's in there. She might be packed down under all types of bullshit. But that's the whole purpose of taking time out to tune in to yourself. Honor you. That little idiosyncrasy that you're scared to show, that you're scared to tell, that you're scared to operate in, that's her. That little dark, sensual, erotic, exotic, bad girl that's down inside of you, that's you, babe. That is you, and that is her. That is her screaming as loud as she can, even though it sounds muffled. It's muffled because she is living in the body of an individual who doesn't know who she is. But it is your responsibility to free her. That's, that's a part of the mission. Learning how to free your mind, free yourself, free thee. <laughs> Let that goddess loose. If you are afraid, it is only because you are more concerned with what the people around you are going to say, which means you're honoring them and not you. So I'm all about self-love. And self-love ain't just pampering and going to get your nails done and your hair done and spa treatment that's the physical aspect of self-love is beautiful too because especially somebody like me with, with venus all in my chart being a taurus i am a sensual person i'm moved motivated and stimulated by my senses so being touched on and pampered that that is one of the many ways that that i have to show myself self-love but first and foremost it just starts with honoring every aspect of me good bad ugly right wrong nasty you know whatever whatever it is that i know is truly me is honored period and whoever doesn't honor that in me fuck them i don't even i don't even acknowledge them you know I go, well, I don't anymore because my, my tribe is so small that, you know, I don't, I don't have to look out into my tribe of, of friends or whoever and try to figure out who hating on me. I don't have any haters on my team because I removed so many people off of my pathway when I began this journey years ago. And it's not an immediate removal of people. It is a it is a, a walk. It's a consistent walk. And as you're walking that path, you are releasing stuff, not just people. You're releasing all kind of stuff throughout um, throughout the journey. But the further you get along on your journey, there will come a time when you look around and you're so, um, you know, your grass. You, you know, you landscaped so much in the beginning that you realize, oh, okay, shit, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. But um, where was I going with this? I lost my train of thought. It was a reason I said all of that. Hmm. I believe I was, I think I was going, the way I was going with that was, if you, if you, if you, I don't know. Oh my God, I hate when I have a brain fart. But anyway, I think you you all know where I was going. You you know what you knew what, what I was getting to. But just honor yourself, ladies. You have to. If you're waiting for a man to do it, girl, you're gonna die. If you're waiting for your family to do it, girl, you're gonna die. If you're waiting for Jesus to come out of the sky and do it, girl, you're gonna die. If you're waiting for any deities to do it, you're gonna die. Because everybody's sitting around. Whoever you worship, whatever you worship, whatever you love, whoever you love, however that looks to you. They're sitting back waiting on you to do it. Because everything is energy, but everything follows you. You're the line leader. You're the creator. So create, bitches. Create. Create the life you want. Create the love you want. Create the home you want. Create the energy you want. You have the ability to knock shit down and restruct, reconstruct as many times as possible. God generator operator destroyer as many times throughout the day throughout your life as needed so mwah, mwah, mwah. peace peace and i love you all good day